Having been through the, the swamps many times before, um, but not being that old, <laughs> the, the thing that amazed me was finding stories from the old timers. And what they would talk about was how large the trees were then. Uh, these that you see here are uh, relatively short, they're, they're new. But now the, the swamp has been cut over uh, at least three times. Uh, and so it's been regrowth of a lot of those trees. And the most amazing thing is that uh, one of the old timers who's six foot tall said he could walk through the stump that was left. Uh, the, uh, the 16 foot section that had been hollow because they didn't load that onto the train car because it wasn't solid wood. But he could walk all the way from one end of the, the, the log on the ground uh, himself standing up without even bowing his head. It was such a huge tree. And he said that many of the, the train loads would hold just a single tree that was 16 foot in length. Uh, and the, these trees that are now are certainly uh, almost no virgin part of, of the woods are left. Uh, these have been cut over many times, and sometimes the type of tree that's in that section will change. Uh, in the case of the cypress, you'll, you'll see uh, these look fantastic, but they're not very tall and they're not very thick. Uh, where, where these old ones that had been there for years, uh, they can create their, their own en environment just from uh, the, the droppings that fall off of the tree.
been with us far enough on, on the, this journey, we're sort of at the end of the road at Lake Drummond. Uh, if you see the Lake Drummond from the air, it's, it's amazing because there's just miles ar around it that looks like it's just empty space with uh, just nature in your way, uh, no structures. And it, it's big enough to see from uh, NASA images from space. Uh, it's so large. It's also one of very few true lakes that are in Virginia.